Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Seb's SMS. Yes, guys, as usual, I'm sending you a message. You better catch it. Sebastian Bassong is now very much the Anglo Fire in my session. Seb's SMS. I'm sending you a message. You better catch it. But when it comes to the football, oh, yes, you guys What's happening, my people? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Honestly, I'm good. Uh, my background has changed a little bit again. I'm on the move. But as usual, I couldn't miss for anything one episode of Seb's SMS. Because I know you're counting on me and I'm counting on you. So guys, how was your week? My one was, honestly, to be honest with you, full of ups and downs. <gasps> I, I've been tested this week I really oh my god I have been really tested and it was a bit tough but I love challenges I love challenges and that keep me on my toes so how was your week I've been reading the comment you know on my social media and here okay no problem but today what I want to talk about I want to share with you and I want to emphasize one very good and important part of who we are, your talent. I know we spoke about it, but I just want to come back onto it. Your talent. Guys, it's the last quarter, you know, like, World Cup is starting soon, but your talent. What is your talent? What are you good at, for real? Have you ever really thought about making an inventory about your strength? about what you're really good at. What can you do? If I wake you up at 4 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m., you're, you're asleep, you're tired, and I ask you to do something, what would that thing be that wouldn't even take no energy from you? What are you naturally good at? And I want you to pay attention to that because there's a lot of things that we do. Whether you are on a football pitch, whether you are at home, whether you are at your job or in school, there's things that you are good at, but you don't pay attention to them. Then you're wondering why. You're wondering why things are not working. Because you are out of your strength. You're out of your depth. You try to do something that is trendy in the world. But why don't you focus on your gift? Your gift shall make room for you. What does that mean? It's your gift who's gonna make, like, it's gonna allow you to shine. It's what you built for, what you naturally good at. There's some people that just, let's take my, my example. I hate doing PowerPoints, I hate doing all sorts of things, you know, which includes systems and stuff like that. Honestly, I hate that. I hate it and it takes a lot of my energy. Some of you might be laughing, but my, some of my PowerPoint is my daughter who make them because she is naturally, I don't even know how she does that, but she's naturally good at that. So what, what, what am I trying to say? That's not one of my strengths. It doesn't mean I can't do it, but that's not one of my strengths. But why should, shall I spend a lot of time on this while I, I have other things that I'm really good at naturally and I can kill the game with them things. But too many times you guys spend so much energy on something that, that's not for you. And then you're wondering why it's not working. What are your strength, your talent, your natural, natural gift? And once you find out your gift, this is what I want you to do. I want you to build around that. If you are a football player and you're left-footed, like I was, and I'm still, a, I, I'm still a left-footed. If you're left foot, keep on working on your strength. I'm not saying that what you call your non-talent, because I don't want to call them weaknesses. They're non-talent. You got a lot of things within yourself, but I want you to focus on what is naturally good for you. What you can do if I wake you up in the morning like that then you're gonna be able to really master that thing and express yourself and you're gonna feel good because every time you go somewhere, 
and you do something that, has not, that is not yours, I'm sure you feel really tired. You feel you're doubting yourself. Stop doubting yourself. But you gotta look within yourself. You gotta invest into yourself. Invest into you. This is the best investment you can ever, ever done. And that starts by looking within, what am I good at? For real. If I used to say that my headers was my best foot because I used to score with headers. Boom, boom. I had to work on that. I was good on defensive headers, but offensive headers, I had to really work on it. But that was an, an area for me to grow. And what is your thing? You need to find your thing. What are you really good at? For some of you, you're very creative, but then you're gonna do a manual work. Your strength is creativity, but you're gonna do manual work. Some of you can talk, you have some inspiration the way you talk, you can interact with people, but you're trying to do some, I don't know, some desk work. I'm not saying you shouldn't pay your bill. I'm not saying you shouldn't even do what you're supposed to be doing to survive. But at some point, because you're a champion, we're looking bigger. We want more for ourselves. We want more for our surrounding. The only way you can bless your people is by shining. And how are you going to shine? Is being in your natural gift. Your gift is everything for you. Look for it. Look for what you're really good at. And as soon as you master that thing, you can go on to another one. You know, we talked about expertise, surrounding yourself with experts. That's exactly the same. You got to master one thing, but how are you going to master that thing? Is by recognizing your strength, natural strength. What are you good at? And there's not, nothing which is, you know, I don't know, not as good as something else. As soon, as long as you find your thing, there's only one you. Stop looking around. Stop looking for external validation. There's only one you. And your strength <laughs> is your gift. And is the gift that you can give to the world. Look for it. Stop saying that I don't know what am I good at. I've, you know what? I heard too many times people telling me, Seb, you know, I don't know. I don't know is not an answer. You do know. You don't want to look for it. Now I want you to look for it. Stop playing small. Stop playing small. Now we're playing big. I told you, we, it's the last quarter of the year. Last quarter of the year, in a couple of weeks, we're going to turn into 2023. We can't turn into 2023 the same way we were in 2022. No way. Not possible. Not in our team. Because this is our team. So what are we going to do, guys? Look for your gift. What are you naturally good at? What can you do? If I wake you up any time, it's not gonna, which is not gonna drain you. That's not gonna drain you. That even gonna give you energy, and you're not gonna look at it as a job or as a burden or as an errand that you gotta go to. All right, that's the challenge of the day. That's your challenge of the day. I really want you to look within, look into you, and do the work. That's my challenge, do the work. Nothing comes easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But I know you can do it. So guys, you know the drill. You take what's yours, that belongs to you, to nobody else. When you get onto that green rectangle, that represents your life and nobody else's. Take what is yours. You haven't, you know, you don't have to ask any permission. That's yours. That belongs to you, yes, to you. So take what's yours, the power, the strength, the happiness, the gift, the natural gift. We don't only take it like that. The success, we don't only take it because what? Oh, we shine. No, we don't only take it. We prop, we snatch it. We snatch it, that's yours. Be convincing, be driving and have a plan, right? But the plan is to look within yourself. So guys, that was your homeboy, Seb Basson, aka Baby Bass. I'm here to serve you, we're together. Don't forget the challenge of the day. What is your skill? What is your gift? Go and look for it and then kill it. Ha! We don't only take it, we snatch it, take what's yours. I'll see you next week, comment, pass it around together. Bye-bye, let's go. Pah!